I'm hoping it's better. I like my things to be perfect. I like perfection a lot. So I'm just asking another guy also uh, if everything is fine on the other side. Um, I'm hoping it's a little better. But if it's not, it's okay. But let's continue because of time. Um, I was trying to record, but I think there are going to be people recording. As usual, there's always people recording uh, my, my, my videos. So uh, today the topic is trading, Forex trading. Because of there's nothing else that I can talk about uh, instead of trading. Because trading, it is what I do. It is what I've been doing for many years. It's the only thing that I can talk about. So let's, let's hope for the best. If it's not okay, I switched off the comments. Apologies for that. I'm just avoiding people talking other things. You'll find someone talking about the uh, Iwalat. You'll find other people asking. Um, you'll find someone asking about other things. But I'm sorry if the audio is lagging. You know, there's always going to be a little bit of, of sabotage. Uh, you know, this thing it always happens even when I do seminars. You'll find the, all, at, at, the, at the last minute, you'll find the, the speakers not working. We know these things. Uh, because we are about to talk about things that liberate people. Anything that is going to liberate people, it's going to be um, uh, dealt with sometimes. Uh, so, good people, uh, my name is Dr. Refoin. Uh, those who know me, they, they, they know me as Dr. Refoin, but otherwise, I am Refoin. Um, my full name is, is Refilwe, it's Ref. So I just you know, cut it to Ref because Ref is a, it's a, they say it's a girl's name. So I said, I know it. Let me just say Ref. And then my second name is Wayne. So and then I, I just put, put the, these two together, Ref Wayne. And then you understand that I'm also an author. Author. I authored the book, The Art of Trading. So I'm not just someone who's talking, you know, uh, I'm also an author. And uh, this book, you'll see that it's not just a book, it's a book of trading. There are many people who also wrote books. Um, there are so many other traders, although there are not a lot of traders who also have books, but those who have books, if you can check, the books are not about trading, it's about themselves. Me, it's about trading. So I'm still going to write a book that is about me, which will be a, a biography, but for now, I talk about trading, because for now, I want to push liberation of the black masses and, and people in general. So basically, uh, I made this video because of I can see that trading is becoming very popular by the day. Trading is becoming very popular by the day. The day is to, uh, today's date is the 21st of, uh, of June, 2020. I started trading a couple of years back, uh, almost 10 years now. I go up in this thing, so I've been growing up in this thing. So if, if, if there's going to be anyone who can tell you about trading, it is myself. Uh, and then I'm not also uh, taking myself up, but my results speak for me. So if there's going to be anyone who can tell you anything that has to do about Forex trading, it is Ref Wayne, especially in Africa. Maybe in America, there'll be other people also talking about their, their side. But for me, uh, I will talk about myself. So uh, if anything, uh, this is the gospel of Ref Wayne. Remember, you'll find the gospel of, 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 of different people. Uh, the, the, this is the gospel of Refoy. According to Refoy, the gospel, gospel means according to. So according to Mark, according to Matthew, according to, you see, so according to Refoy, this is how Forex trading is like and started like in Africa. There's going to be another guy after me who says, according to him, this is how it is. So it's not dogmatic. It is not uh, something that uh, you can say it's, it's, it's in, it's in, um, in stone, you know. It's something that can can be still solved if there's going to be errors in whatever I'm saying. So don't take it personal, nothing is personal, it's business. So I started trading a couple of years back and I said, let me make a video today. I was supposed to make this video last week, Sunday, but I, I was not able to do it. Unfortunately, uh, you know, at the, uh, we had a lot of fun. I was like, you know what, let me just, I don't like to, I don't like to appear and with the as if you know, there's something wrong now because we I don't want to I don't want to lie we had a lot of drinking last week it was so exciting I was like no I will see this thing let me do it next week so today I said let me do it it's Father's Day uh, let me do it let me do something about trading today so I want to discuss forex trading the where it started and where it is now why am I doing this it is, it is because that I can see that there are so many traders right now. Uh, in South Africa, in Africa, in the world, coming up out of nowhere, and it's good, it's, it's, it's such a good thing, but 
and I feel like they're, they're becoming too many, so much that people are going to lose uh, um, the, the, the gist of everything here. It's becoming, uh, I don't want to lie, it's becoming clownish. It has some clownish f uh, features. So I'm like, you know what, I need to, I need to remind people uh, exactly where this thing comes from. It's not like people do not know. They know, but you know, just like we already know about Coca-Cola, we know about McDonald's, we know about all these things, but each and every single day we see them advertising on TV. Because why? They know that the human mind forgets very easily. So we need to always remind the mind that, hey, by the way, this is where it started. Uh, and those who know will tell you the truth, and whatever I will say today, it will uh, it's something that happened. So in, 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 in I'm going to start everything in 2009. 2009, uh, for, I'm talking about forex trading, the history of forex trading in Africa as a whole. Because of, as a matter of fact, it started there in South Africa for it to become in Af uh, It went up to the north now, uh, later after it started there. 2009, uh, a company started. It was a group of guys. I'm going to talk facts. I'm not going to... I'm not competing with anyone. I'm not in a competition with anyone. People who are in competition with people are the ones who will never acknowledge, who will never say, but they refer, you know, they will never say anything. I'm going to talk names today, and then uh, even those people, uh, if whatever I say about them is incorrect, they can always tell me, and I will always come back and say, I was lying about this guy. But this is how I saw it, because me, I was young uh, at that time. But at 2009, I was not in the game. But this is how I also heard it at that time some of the things my mentor also told me so uh, I heard about this thing in in okay before I, I tell you when I heard about it let me tell you where it comes from in 2009 I can go way back in 2007 but I know it better from 2009 in South Africa trading it was started by a group it has not started trading has never been started by anyone as a matter of fact it's been he's been he's been there you know but the, 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 the trading that we know today for it to become, you know, well-known people are trading in South Africa. I can speak for South Africa. He started, uh, uh, and I'm not endorsing anyone here. I'm not endorsing anyone. I'm not getting paid for anything here. I'm, not, I'm going to talk facts, and I'm going to talk names. Others are going to be very angry. Others are going to be very happy. I don't know. Uh, he started by a group of guys from Devon. From Devon. A group of guys from Devon. Uh, there were four. As a matter of fact, it was more. It was more than that. Uh, but uh, I know, personally, I know two. You see. So these are the guys that us now, uh, if anything, those are the first generation traders in South Africa. And then I'm the second generation now because we came now a few years later. They then started, we started to see everything. If trading was always there in South Africa anyway, I don't want to lie, it was always there from 2000, 2003, uh, my mentor was telling me, but it was, uh, uh, was you know, white, white dominated. But for the black people, uh, uh, as, 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 as we started to see results, like with our own eyes, from those guys, so there were two, the way I know there were four, but I know two personally, I sat down with them at one stage, you know, a few years back. Uh, one guy, I know him very well, is Zimza. The other guy, controversial figures, you know them. The other guy is, uh, is cash flow. So those are the two guys that, uh, that popularized it. They, just, they, they pioneered it. Today, they know people, they know Refuin and everything, but they are the ones who pioneered it and popularized it. Because they were doing MLM, which I later did. So we, we kind of did the same things, but we did them separately in different spaces of times because of they were doing MLM, multi-level marketing. So multi-level marketing, it's basically, you know, uh, it's controversial also because others are saying it's a pyramid scheme. It's like, you know, you have a live M-Way, you know, those things. So those are, those are MLM. So they were doing, they were selling. They were salesmen, you see. They were salesmen. Forex trading was pioneered by marketers, by, by salesmen. And uh, today, that is why it's so big like this, because of the people who started it were actually salesmen, were, were hype men, spacemen, people who are very excited. So those guys were pushing forex trading, uh, were pushing other things. And then uh, the way I heard it properly, and the way that it was related to me, the story, it was that they found about trading from another guy who I also met. So as I said, we, 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 we did the similar things, but we did them separately at different times. But very similar stories. Because they also met a, a white guy who, who, who mentored them. I also met the white guy, white guy who mentored me. And in their case was uh, Grant Jones. 
Grant Jones is a very, I don't know, I don't know where, the, I don't know where, where, where this guy is actually, is a very, very, very brilliant guy, but I don't know what happened to him, Grant Jones, Grant Jones, I don't know, the old guys will know him, Grant Jones, so he was the guy who, who actually pulled them into their company back in 2009, uh, or 2007, I think. They opened their own company in 2009, so uh, that company was iCodes. So that's where everything started now. So forex trading was nowhere near the black people or the black. The, the maybe if anything, uh, people used to hear about maybe stock trading, but not forex trading. Uh, but no one was really interested, and it looked very, you know, it very it looked far far fetched. No one would really want to go deeper and learn about it. But then they guy, those guys, they took it from the guy, then they packaged it. Then uh, uh, when they packaged it now, they saw that, hey man, this thing, they didn't even, they were not even interested in trading themselves, you know, the way I know it. They were interested in selling it because of, uh, you know, it's like they were selling money, like, hey guys, this thing is a breakthrough. People can learn about this thing. Let them, let us sell this thing to the people. And indeed, they pushed the company in 2009, 2010, 2011. 2011, uh, that's, by the way, where, 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 where the top dogs now come up, the Dr. Refoins come up. 2011, me one time, uh, I'm at school, by the way, uh, I was in grade 9, 2011. Me, uh, I see one time on, on the internet, because I was always, me, I, I've been always online. I've, I've always, people don't know one thing about me, I've always wanted to make money online. So, uh, I used to do what is called top shipping. So, basically, top shipping, I can sell this laptop. Uh, and then I don't even have this laptop, so I was already a salesman. I didn't have a laptop with me, but I, I could sell you a laptop without me having a laptop. How did I do it? Basically, I could go to a website online. Maybe I can go to Country. I can go to maybe Pido Buy. I can go online and then I can list a laptop and say I'm selling this laptop for twenty thousand rand. And then I, I put it there. When you pay me immediately, uh, I also go and uh, 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 buy it from. From, from the shop, with the, from, the, from, from the warehouse, 15,000 rand, then I make 5,000 rand profit. So it's top shipping. So I, I'm selling something that I don't have. So me, I was pushing online business. Even at school, the, my, my, my friends can tell you at school, uh, they used to call me cheese boy, thinking I'm coming from a rich family. But me, I was making my own money. Uh, and then uh, at, at lunchtime, this thing of giving, I, I come far from it. Because lunchtime, people are broke there. You can see the people kiss some bag. People let their mouth is dry, 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 dry. I say, I'm you know what, let's get some uh, quarter. And I can buy for everyone. Ten people. Two. So say, ah, hey, 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 Rafik is called. Oh, the man. It's just by every day, every day is consistent. I used to buy, for, you know, lunch for people, teachers, I could come. And they saw I was knowing that, hey, this guy, she's boy, you know, Serge Jumba, and he's always having one, this guy. So, not knowing that me, I'm working online now. I've been working online, as a matter of fact. I'm one of the first people to join YouTube and Facebook. Facebook, doesn't, Facebook, Facebook started in 2004. I started Facebook in 2007. YouTube, I joined YouTube in 2007. So you can just imagine, I'm one of the first people to join this online because I've been on the computer. I love computers, you see. So I was like, you know what? If I can, if I can hey, make a killing. But you know, that business was slow because of, uh, yes, I was making a lot of money for that time as a, as a, as a 16 year old, but it, I felt that like it was slow. So one time I'm online, you know, online, online, online. I like to read, by the way. I check online. I see, hey, one million rand birthday party. Who is this guy now? Do, do, do I see this guy? I, I see another guy. You know, young, very nice flamboyant guys. I see a hey, uh, one million rand for. Uh, I see celebrities there. So there's a big story on the internet there. I was like, oh, I, these guys are killing me. Trading. What is this thing? I, so I, I leave it. You know what? Uh, because of curiosity, I, I go on on my on my on my on my PC there. I check uh, trading. What is happening? I remember I went to Standard Bank Web Trader. I checked, hey, stand up, bank, web trade, what is happening here? Uh, this thing is very interesting. Hey, hey, I wonder what's happening here. But I, hey, I saw the graphs. I said, choo, 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 choo. ah, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm still young for this thing, but I'll come back. Hey, hey how are they doing it? So, hey, but I said, you know what, let me start following this guy, whatever he's doing. Let me start following him. I just want to see, hey, I can see this guy's killing. Hey, he's doing, he's doing other things now. Like, hey, he's, he's doing parties. I said, hey. No, 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 I like what this guy is doing. But you know what? I felt like this thing you need to study, you need to go through books and everything. So I was like, no, let me not, 
leave it. So, but anyway, my desire, I've always wanted to be a very young, successful millionaire. So, eventually, I was also causing a lot of trouble at school, you know. Uh, I was a rebel, or what, yeah, what they can call a rebel, because at school, me, I'm like someone who, when I can hear people talking other things, they don't make sense. I, I, I like to, you know, I like to say, no, mm -mm. something is very weird here. Uh, so, 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 no, no, no. So at school I used to, like, I used to, you know, I, I used to, in a way, debate, in a way, but intellectual debates, uh, because of, uh, I, I could, yes, and some things are not making sense here. Yeah. Although they are, they are very good guys, but I was like, you know what, no, something's going. So I used to question a lot. No, but if you can solve this thing like this, can you not solve it in this other way? I used to come up with, so I'm someone who likes to innovate. I'm not an inventor, I'm an innovator. If I can find something that is working, but it's lacking, I can add some few things. So at school, I used to see that, no, man, you know what, I can add a few elements here, but, you know, uh, it's dogmatic. School is dogmatic because of now there, uh, they say this thing is supposed to work like this, like it or not, take it or leave it. So I was like, no, man. So they know me there at school, they can tell you, hey, I used to fight a lot. They almost fist fight, but not, I, I don't fight fist fight, but just, you know, intellectual debates. But that's when I said, you know what, mm -mm. this thing, I cannot continue with it. Because I started to feel like maybe my, my, my goals were very different. And my, the teacher's goal for me and my goal, <laughs> I felt like they're very different. Because of me, I want to become a young millionaire. I want to have businesses. I want to become an online you know, guru, like make money online. You know. So, but this thing, I feel like, no, 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 no. Is they're taking another different path, especially when they're not willing to listen to my ideas. Uh, because I was coming with very revolutionary ideas. And I, 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 I led by example, because at school, some of my friends were making 30%, uh, 30%, 40%. We, you know, uh, at school you find uh, the list. They used to say, Refilwe, uh, Mets, 45%. Then you Tepo, 20%. Yo. Uh, yo, Michael, 15%. Yo. So people, so people were failing. And I'm like, no, man. And me, I, I don't know if one of my friends is online here yeah, because he was in school with me. He can tell you that I was one of the few guys. I, now I never used to read books and say what, what. I just went to a test, pass, just like this. So I'm like that. I'm someone who's like that. You see. So uh, I was coming with the ways. I said, guys, I was. I, I put teachers down. I even went to the principal. No one wanted to listen. I said, guys, there are different methods that you can teach a child that they can grasp information faster than the ordinary. There are different methods. Some children, they can learn by listening. Some children, they can learn by reading. Some children, you see, so I, I, I was coming up with methods to innovate learning style. And I opened a, a group called Super Brain. If I check Super Brain. Uh, Super Brain, it was a group that I opened at school. When I saw my peers failing, and then I took them, and then I said, okay, Tepo, we're not up 30%, we're not, Mama, uh, 15%, 15 15%, 15%, I took them, I took them, I took them, I took them, I took them. I took them. All these guys, it, it didn't take three months, with the different methods that I was showing them on how to learn. They were hot, 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 hot. So I was like, no man. So the teachers were starting to take note of me. Because at break time, no one were, were people who, who used to, I used to amass a crowd. So this thing, this thing has been happening at a young age. Uh, people coming in the crowd, coming to listen to me. So I show guys, say, guys, no, 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 this is not the way to learn. Let's change the way you are learning now. Teaching them about the subconscious mind, how the subconscious mind works. So instead of learning consciously, start to learn subconsciously. Put yourself into a trance mode. Relax and, you know. Pull the information and they were like, wow. And those guys today, they're, 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 they're still giving me a hand each and every time when they meet me. So, when I won't jump on it, yeah, yeah, dangerous. So, so, you can just imagine I was always an innovator, always an innovator, always an innovator. Then, eventually, I said, you know what? Mm -mm. Uh, actually, I don't want to lie. My math teacher called me. He said to me, uh, actually I was even chatting to him yesterday, he said to me, you know what man, he called me on the side, my maths teacher, because he could see that I'm always, you know, so he said to me, oh, my man, come here. At one time he called me, uh, I won't call him by name because it is, it's illegal what he did in a way. He said to me, my man, mm -mm. 
Don't you think that you can do something, man? Can't you think of something, an idea? Can't you develop something? Can't you change something, man? This thing is not for you. I said, what? I've been having ideas of leaving school. I've been having ideas of you. This guy away is coming from me. He's a teacher saying to me, no, man. Do something. I said, ah. I, my mom just saw me one time at school there, I, at, at, at home when I came back, I now, I, I had confidence now. Hey, no, 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 no. Because sometimes I wake up late, um, when I go to school, ah, go, they said, no, this guy is starting to become problem. I remember they called my uncle. Today, that my uncle who's on my, on my book, chapter seven, you'll see the grandmaster, uh, Mr. Malume. They know him, some of the traders. Uh, they called him also, said, hey, man, uh, Rafi and all, they're starting to become problematic now. He's starting to become critical at school because I'm starting to say, no, man, you know, starting to show other things. I eventually learned on to lie. It became a big issue in the family, and I left. I left school just bits by bits, bits by bits. I used to attend Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I leave. Thursday, Friday, I Sometimes I'm going to school in the morning and then I'm going to the library. I'm going to read other things now, or I'm going to the internet cafe. So I, I left it bit by bit, bit by bit, bit by I Eventually, I stopped. People just stopped seeing me at school. They, they started meeting me in the street there. So uh, then I, I, I got a, I got a, a, I went online because I was like, I was chilling at home now, not doing anything. But I had a desire. I knew that there's something that I must do that is big to change the life of the people. But for now, there's nothing that I can do. So I went online. I saw on the internet, I saw an advert. Okay. I saw this advert there, they are saying, you know, you can come and do marketing, sales, sales and marketing. Hey, I'm one big chance. I, you know, I used, to, I used to submit CVs for other things that I've never been qualified for. Even like things, hey, weird things, I used to just submit CVs. So I said, ah, let me just tell, you know, I don't even have, you know, let me just tell these people that I, I can sell, I can do whatever, I'm willing to learn. So I sent them an email. Oh, it didn't even take a long time. Uh, the next day, I think I got a call, come to run back. Uh, and come in, you know, I went to the offices there, ah, I see that, ah, I can see people are wearing black suits, the people are looking nice, I'm like, hey, no, 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 uh, let's push, so, ah, uh, later I realized that, no, man, people, I can see that these guys, they are wearing suits, they are nice, but they are, they are holding, like, uh, SIM cards, I said, ah, what's happening here, but I said, you know what, it's fine, whatever that they are doing, it's okay, so they said, hey, man, how old are you, hey, I said, no, I'm 16. They say, why are you not at school? I said, hey, you know, poverty, 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 poverty. Uh, I want to push. They said, ah, no, you can push. As we are selling SIM cards here, SIM card is 30 rand. Uh, it's 60, 40. So basically, yeah, we will give you a card. You just sell SIM cards. I said, SIM card. I did not know how to sell out there, but I was like, ah, fuck, fuck. It's, I took the SIM cards, the, the Vodacom SIM cards. So, that's why I was selling SIM cards now. It's there on the book. It's here in the book. I put it there. SIM cards. A SIM cards, SIM cards, SIM cards. And SIM card is not easy to sell a SIM card, eh? Because you find people, they have already their SIM cards. MTN, you find NCLC, people have already their SIM cards. Hey, why not go in a man? Ah, I'm not going to sell a SIM card. Ah, I'm not going to sell a SIM card. People were very critical. But, you know, uh, I'm, 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 I'm a very positive guy. Very ambitious guy, by the way. I'm very positive. Even where I can see negativity, I'll be positive. I was like, I'll do this thing. So I was selling SIM cards, selling SIM cards. And coincidentally, or whatever, like, you know, uh, luckily, I, I, I was a top guy. I was selling SIM cards. People, when I got there, they were selling three SIM cards per day. When I come there, actually, uh, every, each, 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 when I check, all the time where there were impossibilities, where people did not believe that things can happen, I, I made them happen because people were selling three SIM cards, four SIM cards, and people were like, wow, four SIM cards. I came there, I was selling 10 SIM cards, 15 SIM cards, 20 SIM cards a day. And after I started to sell 15 SIM cards, 20 SIM cards a day, how oh, people are starting to sell more now because people now they started to see that this thing is possible. This young man out of nowhere is doing this thing. So we were selling SIM cards and I started to have my own pitch. I, I developed even you see, even in the SIM cards now, before the Forex, even in the SIM card business, I developed things there, innovated, just like I was doing at school, innovating ways for people to learn. Even in the SIM cards, I came with methods that people can sell. Because they were so slow, those guys, uh, yeah, 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 they were very boring. I came with the energy. Hey, how are you doing? Said, ah, do you know about the Vodacom startup? Pack? Yes, I know about the Vodacom. Who doesn't know? No, no, but do you know about the competition that comes with it? No, no, no. The Vodacom is giving away 12 cards each and every month for the whole year. You are going to get 30 megabytes every month. You are going to get 30 rand a time. You are going to get 30 SMS every month. Do you know about it? So I said, yeah, hey. So 
before you know it, the guy is already taking us his starter pack. We are putting in now. His tele is going to pot. Pot his number. is moving from MTN. So they were, I came up with new ways. And that company, till today, when they see me, they're like, my man, you changed our lives here. Because I came up with new ways. So I was innovating even there. You understand? <laughs> so that's, that's, that's a, a little bit. So me now, I remember trading, I already saw it. A long time ago with cash flow and everything, as I was saying. But now, as I was selling the SIM cards in the subconscious mind, the law of attraction works. You know, what you believe, it, it, it will come to pass, you know. Um, as I was selling, 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 Sometimes I could not own, that is one of my secrets for me to sell more than four or five per day. It was because I could sell to one person, I could sell two thousand cards. So yeah, when people were selling to one person, one, I was selling three to four, five. So I was leveraging. So uh, uh, you, you must buy for your son, you must buy for your, your mother, you buy for you. So, so that guy said to him, you know, buy for your wife also. He said, okay, it's fine. 30 rand, 30 rand, 60 rand. Ah, it's okay. Gave me 100 rand. He says, ah, you can even hold the change. But he says to me, you know what? How old are you? I said, oh, man, I'm, I'm 16. He says, mm -hmm. you know what, man? Uh, I think you can do something else. I said, hey, says, yeah. How much are they paying you? Ah, no, sir, per month, uh, per week, I'm making 300. Aye. He says, no. He gave me a business card there. Uh, David Schwartz gave me a business card. Give me a business card. He says, aye, man, take this business card. Uh, call me when you are ready to make some more money. Aye. Same time, I'm like, I, this guy, business card, I can see director. What, 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 what. Uh, I immediately when he left, he didn't even take long, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes after he left, I go to the public phone. I call, I call the number. Hey, say, how are you doing? He says, hey, who is this now? He says, this is Wayne. He says, ah, we just met now. I say, yeah, 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 hey, no, I wanted to know what you are, what you are selling. He says, okay, uh, what, you are, what you are offering. He says, okay, come and meet me tomorrow morning. Uh, in four ways, yeah. And then I went to four ways, just now I'm not far. Four ways, I, I went to the offices of Mo Old Mutual in four ways. Uh, I went there, I, I went there, they had to work, they were expecting me. I leave them, I said, Ah, these guys are mad. I went there with a the suit, I put a nice tie, hey, and then I remember I went there, I, I met with him there, and he said to me, How you waiting in the morning, hey, young man, come sit down. And he's speaking Afrikaans, and he likes that I also speak Afrikaans, you know. Uh, I love languages, if you can learn, I, I know Spanish, a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of, you know, I like to learn languages. Uh, so even Afrikaans, it was one of the one languages that I wanted to learn as well. So I was, he said, good, thank you, sir, yeah. He said, uh, when? Uh, yeah, I said, but more Afrikaans, eh? Mm, I said, I'm going to make So he was so excited, how I'm so willing to learn even new things. So he says, no, man. Uh, do you know anything about trading? I said, hi. Trading, trading, trading. Uh, can you show me something? I forgot, by the way, that I saw cash for everything. He says, no, man. This thing, and he shows me. I said, oh, yeah, there's a guy, man, who's doing these things in there, and he's killing it. Yeah. He says, yeah, 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 yeah. Then he says, anyway, I didn't call you here for that. I called you here for, uh, for this. Then he showed me old mutual. They wanted me to sell insurance. So basically, I was selling life policies for him. Uh, 
uh, I was not registered with Old Mutual uh, in a way, but in a way, in the, in the paper, it was written his name, but I was selling, in, uh, I was selling for him. So everything, the money was going to him, then he would give me something, because anyway, I'm underage. It's illegal for me to be selling, I don't know, life police at that age. So I, I was pushing then. I, was, I sold a lot of insurance, life policy, uh, what, what, what I was selling. So I left the SIM card now, I was selling insurance, insurance, insurance. So one time I was going back to him with the with the with the like the results of how many uh, like how many sales that I made for the day, you know. So when I got there, I can see him in the screen there. <laughs> he says, "Wait for me there." Like, he's busy, he's busy, he's busy, he's busy. He's like he's analyzing the market, analyzing the market, analyzing the market. So me, I'm checking because I love computers. Anyway, me, remember, I'm, I'm an online guy. I like to make money online. You see. So I like I check. Hey, hey, this guy. Mm, what is he doing there? I say, hey. It's, Graphs again. Okay, I can see these things. Huh, what is this? I say, what are you doing? He says, oh, you won't understand it. You're too young. I said, no, man. Maybe I can understand it. What are you doing there? He says, then, then I can see that, no, man. Uh, by the way, I also know a little bit of, uh, not a little bit, actually, I know uh, programming as well. So, um, he was also busy. So, he had two screens with him. He had the charts. And he had the, the other side of the screen now. It's like he's coding some indicators, some software. So I'm like, ah, this is something that I can I can contribute in, you see. So I was like, okay, sir, but this one I can know. What is this? He says, no, this is C, C, C plus. I said, oh no. So okay, well, what is this language? Meta, meta codes language. I said, okay, but this is something I can do. He says, what? Do you know this? I said, I can do, I know this. And you know life, hey, life is so weird. He's having an issue with some, some, uh, uh, a code there that is just not adding up so it's time to be back giving me an error giving me an error and then i sit down there and i said no man you know what just like i was doing at school just like i was doing at the sim cards innovation again so i said no man you know what i think you're using very 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 lengthy codes here we can break this down here let's change this code and 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 and, and restructure it I do it for him now. What are you trying to do? You know, he says, I want this thing to calculate the value of 12, meaning that uh, when it's going for the high of the day, then he just gives me an explanation. I started to program it for him. Press play. Because when he was pressing play, it was giving me an error, error. So it was frustrating. When we press play, after I touched the, the keyboard, the car, it says, loading, it says, okay. Hey, the guy, my goodness. Hey, JJ, JJ, a black side. Hey, 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 and like fun bias, Jay said, oh man, Jay Vietmus, he said, wow. So he said to me, no man, that's when he said, you know what, this thing of insurance, let's put it aside now. I think we can work together in the world of trading. That is how I was introduced to trading. Me, I trained trading as, as a, 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 you know, as a developer, as I was not coming, I was not drawn to trading because of luxurious things or flamboyance. I was not drawn, I was, I came to trading in a way, in a, in a, in a divine manner. You know, so I said, no, man. So, so he gave me a book. Gave me a book, Mr. David Schwartz. Gave me a book there, and he passed away, Mr. David Schwartz. He gave me a book. I went, to, I went home, I studied the book, studied the book of trading now. Stock markets, equities, options, forex, you know, so many things. I studied, I studied, I studied. Then I started to see that, no, man, this thing. So I started to push demo, demo account, demo account, demo account, demo account, demo account. Demo account. You know, obviously, blow, blow, hey, blow, 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 blow. I said, ah, it's fine. But you know, I'm, I'm persistent. I don't sleep. I don't sleep. When I, when, I, when, I, when I fall in love with something, very passionate about it, the whole night, busy with it, busy with it, busy with it, busy with it. One day I came to him. I, I went to his office one day. I, I said, hey, say, how's it? They said, ah, oh, man, how's the trading? He's asking me, how's the trading going? ah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Then he says to me, uh, he wants us to go somewhere. I said, no, before, before we do that, uh, are you looking at any charts today? He says, yeah, I'm going to be trading the pound. I said, ah, GBP USD. Okay. He said, no, it's fine. Then he says to me, well, I'm 16 years old. Think about that. <laughs> Guys, he says to me, uh, I'm looking at the charts. So now this is my, hey, yes, life is good. I, he shows me the charts there. I said, ah, no. But this is maybe three weeks after he gave me the books and everything. I said, I know, man, this thing it can sell. He says, what? What do you mean? Uh, we started to, the collectual, the jargon that we have right now in, in trading. At that time, supply and demand. 
naked child. We spoke about it. I told him that, no, man. You know what? This thing, it went up there. For me, I feel like the market is inhaling. Hey, coming up with my own collectual, coming up with my own terms, it's inhaling. And so I saw that the market is inhaling and exhaling. So the market, when it goes up, it's inhaling. When it goes down, it's exhaling. It's exhaling. So if you can know when the market will inhale, we will know maybe when it will exhale. Hey! He says, my goodness, when, 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 when. So he loved me. He loved me a lot. And indeed, even when I was wrong, but he loved the way I was so passionate about this thing. He took me in, that guy, taught me everything. David Schwartz was working for the banks a long time ago. Oh, that guy was a legend. Oh, you, you. Ay, 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 that guy was a legend, a legend, legend in trading. Ay, he took me down. And remember, he's a white guy. If you want to see something that divine, a spiritual, uh, uh, he's a white guy. I'm a black guy, you know. So, and I'm a young guy. He's got children of his own. Children that today, are, they call me, hey amen. They're asking me for signals, his own kids. So you, you can just imagine how everything was coming and, and connecting me that today I can impact people. Um, and that guy he took me in each and every single day. I used to ask questions, very asking questions. That guy took me in, he showed me things, he told me about other things that people don't know about. But the time the banks go in, the times, uh, you know, other things that they, they, hey, they are dangerous, dangerous methods that, they, that are today I'm revealing uh, bits by bits, bits by bits, bits by bits, bits by bits. Took me in, that guy taught me so many things, taught me so many things uh, that I will never forget. To a level that when I started to kill the market, it did not take, you know, when I me, I didn't take three months, three months, three to six months, I already bought a, a car, I bought a, a BMW. I did not know how to drive. My mom, one time, she just heard me saying, you know what, because uh, I was using her account. Remember, I'm, I'm underage. I was using her account. So basically, I used to trade it under her account. People don't know, I started with $50. $50. Uh, and then, when I made a little bit of profit, then I approached my aunt. Uh, then I said, hey, you know what? Please boost me a little bit, yeah. And even then, it was not so much, maybe 5,000 5, rand. So then I bought a car, my first car, BMW. Think about it at that young age. So uh, if you can understand my story, then you'll understand that, hey, man, this story is about someone who started from nothing, literally nothing. People where I grew up in, in Soweto, Ended up even thinking that this guy maybe is part of uh, some cult or something because yeah, I shot up. You know, people they only see you making it. They never see the the the, the nights, the sleepless nights, the tears. Sometimes tear crying, oh, blowing the account there. You know. Uh, uh, so yes, that guy when he touched me, I can say he touched me, and uh, he, he taught me all those things. And I became very serious, very serious, very serious, very serious, trading, 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 each and every single day. And I had a target, by the way, target. When I was trading, I had a target. This thing of today, I don't understand what people are doing now. They are trading, they are mindlessly. That is why even when I'm giving a signal, I give maybe one or two signals per day, I'm done. Because I'm working on a target. The, out of $500, I know that today I'm targeting 500 rand. So 5,000 rand at the time, one dollar, uh, 10 rand. Fa in a day, I was just targeting 500 rand. And so I started doing 250 per day. Then I said, hey, it's coming nice. My friend will tell you, uh, hey, yeah, yeah, every uh, Fridays, you, 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 very young. Make a thing about it. I, I used to have a, a nice head there. We go there in Pretoria Channel M, we go to Blue Room, we go to, uh, what is another place there? Hey, young guys going to the clubs there, Guys, and we're, we're doing shocking things. Like these young boys. And at that time, no one knows anything about trading. Even if someone asks me, what do you do? When people are asking me, my mom, what does your child do? Because your child is always here doing things. Trading, no one knew about trading. I don't want to lie to you when I started trading. And that was then, at that time, maybe there were people in the black community. I could count them. And I'm going to get there because I was talking about now. I will tell you, I was telling you a bit about the history of Forex and also my journey in it. But I will tell you more about the other side. Uh, maybe there were a handful of people. Handful. You can count, calculate them, count them. Uh, and we knew each other, a tight knit uh, a, a group. So when I, was starting, when I was trading and making these profits, withdrawing, I started to see that, you know what? This thing can impact a lot of people. If people can learn this thing. So 
I do not even think about teaching. Right now, I don't know what's happening. Someone just learned how to trade today, tomorrow is a teacher. Uh -uh. There you were making money in trading, exclusively in trading, making it big, making it big. I remember after I bought the car, uh, I went to my school. Remember, there were some haters there at school. You know, uh, drop out, this guy dropped out of school. Hey, if you left school, the ref left school. I'm sure he's going to be a street kid now, or whatever. I went there with the BM. I did not have a license. Uh, guys, I've been taking risks. You know, a risk taker. I went there. Break time. Break time. Hey, people, who is this guy with the BM? Kids. And these are my, 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 my. Some of them, they are my senior. Some of them, they are my junior. And they remember me that I was just there recently. I came with teachers who were talking, you know, ha, da, 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 da. Hey, now they're coming out of school there. Who's this guy? Who's this boy? Who's this boy coming to disrupt class? They come out, they say, oh, it's you. What are you doing? Is this your mom car? I said, this is my car. Hey, 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 hey. They are looking at me. They give me a hand. Hey. Even the other haters, they think I forgot. They, they were telling people nonsense. That, ah, that guy, forget about him. He's doing other things. Hey, they were giving me a hand. Hey, my name. Hey, I'm, I'm inspired by you. I'm inspired by you. So I look at this guy. He forgot that he was. <laughs> I'm inspired by you. Uh, yeah, we must give us the methods. So they were inspired. So kids, they're at school. They're at school there. They are the ones who started to say to me, man. I remember the guy Trevor and Sebo. They are the ones who said to me, man, uh, please, man, you must uh, come and pick us up and come and teach us whatever that you're doing, man. Uh, we want to push. They are the ones who gave me the idea of maybe I can start teaching. You see where it comes from. After the results, people call you and say, can you come in? Not you saying, ah, ah, that's, uh, you don't do that. Though. So uh, your work, your results must speak for you, must be in front of you. So, uh, and in the time now, there's, there's in Devon, there's a guy called Cashflow, he's killing it in Tobek. So if anything, there's a, like, if there's going to be, for example, uh, Underworld, you know, this mafias. Oh, it's the mafia of Haute. Then there's the mafia of 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 course Natal, the, the other hemisphere. Uh, yeah, I'm the mafia this side. So if if you come to Haute, uh, you talk to me. And at the, the, the time there were guys called Kenukunen. I don't know if you know Kenukunen. Uh, the Sushi King. Uh, what does it kind of Kenukunen I had the saying? Uh, 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 so what? Kenukunen. So what Kenukunen? Flamboyant people. So that's why we saw flamboyant. So. It, the, the, the thing of flamboyance, the thing of cars and everything, they were, it was already there, you know, uh, by cash flow and everything. But they were doing it. I, 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 had a, I had a new, new, new way of doing it because I'm the first guy to come with the helicopters because I could land with the helicopter. It's a way to come with a helicopter. Sometimes I can just take a helicopter to go at my high school just to see. Around. Around, around, just people they know. I just put on Facebook, watch me, I'll be there with a the helicopter. And da, 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 da. just see people, hey, 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 hey. Ha. they don't know this thing. So, so, so I start, flamboyant, flamboyant, flamboyant. So, so, these things that you see today, I started them a long time ago. And at that time, there was another guy, uh, now the history of, 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 of Forex now in South Africa. Uh, at that time, there was another guy called. Uh, so as I was uh, as I was killing the market, killing the market, killing the market, there was another guy called. In 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 in, in Devon, there was a lot of competition in Devon. Uh, Prince Mazibuku. Prince Mazibuku, he was there. Prince Mazibuku, I was killing the market. Prince Mazibuku. At that time, I don't know now. That guy was killing. It. He was killing it. He got the. Um, he bought a GTI, a GTI G6. <laughs> So now it was a war. In a way, there's a war because I'm killing the market. Also, we are buying cars. We were buying cars. Think about it. 16 year olds. He was 19 year old. So we are killing the market. He bought a G6 GTI. So I just got a message. Hey guys, did you hear about this other guy? He just bought a G6 GTI. So what's happening now? Okay. I, as I'm looking, as I'm looking, but they buy the A5 Cabrio light uh, convertible. These are things at that time they were not, you know, as popular. I, and young boys, convertible. I immediately when he does that, I fetch what I fetch a, I fetch a, a coupe. Mrs. Benz just when it went out, I also it, oh. so we're waiting now, cars. 
And then after I fetched there, yeah, then there was a time I was fetching, so we were eating convoys. So I was killing here, yeah, they were killing there. Ish, at the time, you know, you are young, you are young. Mm. You are young, you are ill-disciplined at the same time. No one can tell you, especially when people used to say that you won't make it. After you make it, ha, yes, yes. And then uh, I remember I, I went to my mentor. Some of the regrettable things that you know you do when you are young. I went to my mentor there. My mentor was starting to call me, you know. Ah, my phone, it doesn't just ringing now. You know, ah, you know, so stop time. Hey, that was my time. Think about it now. I'm starting to have a, you know, uh, that is why people they say, man, this guy is very humble because I, I, I was humbled by the markets, you know, uh, at one stage. So I had to be humble. I was humble naturally, but I was re humbled. Uh, and then, hey, you know, so, you know, this thing of uh, when you make it big and you don't go back and, uh, and appreciate, you know, and say, you know what, man, you are the one who made me. And instead, you start to, you know, oh, oh, yeah, that thing is, is, a, is a problematic thing. That thing is, is problematic because sometimes you don't understand. Uh, uh, it is, in a way, it's like an anointing because of now, if I can teach you how to do something or if I can inspire you and tomorrow you talk negative about me or you do some nonsense regarding me, uh, somewhere, somehow, the, your things will, will have a problem. So... I was killing, killing, killing the market, killing the market. My mentor was calling me, I was not answering. You know, he was leaving voice notes, uh, voicemail, voicemail. But I was so happy that just before he passed away, I went to him. I went to him, I went to show him, you know, the cars, I did a convoy. And then he was like, hey man, I've been waiting for you. Uh, you know what, you forgot your goals, you forgot your dreams. Remember your dream, Ref. Uh, and he was calling me away, you remember your dream was always to to help the black people was always to inspire people was always to shake poverty was always to don't forget your dream don't be lost in this illusion or in the grandeur or yeah don't be don't be lost in this world because you are too you're too fast hey, but you know because you are young ah, wasting my time wasting my time wasting my time but i remember he said so and he says man don't forget your biggest goals. So I think, then he reminded me again that you know what, just like my friend was saying that maybe I must open a school. Then I said, you know what, maybe I must open a school. The African, that is where you, 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 I opened a school called the African Forex Institute. So I opened the African Forex Institute. So, and then I opened the school there because of his weights. And you know, soon after, one month, two months later, I just said that he passed away. Uh, it was so sad, but I was so ha I was so happy that he passed away after I went there and uh, having you know apologized for 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 all the nonsenses because of I was starting to become uh, problematic and you know uh, uh, it's inherent where money is involved so especially when you are young and I want to remind people that thing that thing they must not make that mistake uh, and then uh, hey, one time I'm trading. Uh, I will never forget this day, the day the market humbled me, and uh, that's when I saw that you. Oh, uh, there was a guy called, um, as I said, there was Prince Mazibuko killing the market. I don't know what happened to him at that time. There was another guy called Manda, uh, Manda Mpuni. There was, as I said, there were, it was a close, tight community. There was another guy called, now this is my friend Vosi. Another guy called Bafana. These are my friends. Bafana, we've been writing a book with him. Fusi, I'm working with him. So, uh, so we used to trade each and every day. We were giving each other signals, signals, signals. Hey, one day in the market, hey, remember my big shot? Haha. Uh, the guy now, no one can tell me anything. The market, I'm a king of the markets. True, 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 true. I don't know. That's when I learned deeper about fundamentals because I was a technical, technical trader. This is why today you can see me. I'm very deep in fundamentals. Hey, I don't know, Obama was making a speech or what? Uh, Kenny Kunene was making a party, he had a club, Kenny Kunene had a club, Zah club, club Zah. There you eat sushi, you did all these kind of things. And But because we were underage, but we had, the, you know, the money and anything, we could even gain access. So I was invited to that club. I was like, I, you know what, I'm going to go there and kill kill people there. At that time, I'm going to end there. During the time called of Scotan. Scotan, if you know the Scotan is, eh? the guy Scotan, mm, it was nice, it was nice, it was nice. I was like, you know what, I'm going to, 
I'm going to enter there. I'm going to make history. They are going to know Refway. Hey, this Friday, you see this Friday, they're going to know who's Refway. Hey, so I'm, I'm trading, I'm trading. I even put the balance. I put all the money there in the, in the, in the market because I wanted to, hey, I wanted to do something else. Jo, you know, I was in profit. That is why today I always say, take profit, take profit. Take profit. When I give a signal, take profit, take profit. Ah, you know people, they don't like to take profit. Hey, I'm trading. I'm in a profit. I'm with my friends. Hey, shh, shh, wait, I can't see. I'm showing them. I'm showing them. I think I was in 100. Because my lot signs are crazy. I'm in 100k something profit there. Hey, we are dancing. We are excited. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We are happy. We are happy. We are happy. I don't know what happened. I saw a spike. Oh, what is that? Wabba! Wabba! <laughs> movie, movie, movie. You know, I even lowered the music down. I said, okay, let me just lower this thing down. I hit the tea. Margin call. You know, margin call, it is now when the broker, it is a, you know, it shows a pink, you know, a pink uh, line there. It shows that, hey, yeah, yeah, Baba, you are going to blow. In a split second, I'm telling you, I had a lot of money in the account there. And I'm about to blow. Assess. That's when I started to learn that their friends can be problematic. Eh? You know, I was with these guys. We are dancing. We are dancing. We are dancing. When that thing was happening, it was like I'm alone. It was like I'm alone. It's like they can see. You with the <laughs> they were asking, "What is happening?" Say, man, eh, eh, when you are going to blow up, they are blowing this thing. They are blowing. Yeah, blue. blue. The account blue. I don't know. Obama was making an announcement of what. I remember the news that he was making was a bit. Oh, that's Hurricane Sandy. I'll check. I think there was Hurricane Sandy. Uh, there was a hurricane called Sandy. Let me just check the date of the hurricane. Yeah. Hurricane Sandy. Actually, that, yeah, no, yeah, 20, yeah, October 2012, 2022. Yes, Hurricane Sandy. Oh, well, The market. I blew my account. I blew even my savings. I was like, okay, this has just happened. I told my guys, guys, we cannot go anywhere. The party has been postponed. I'm postponing it. I'm thinking to myself right now, I'm, I'm, I'm owning a house I'd not buy. That is why. You, so in my experience of life, I learned so many tools. I learned cash is king. Buy things with cash. So, because I was in a house that I was paying for the 8,000 rand per month for. Big house, big house. I was paying for the eight thousand rand per month. Think about it, for the eight thousand rand per month, I was pay, uh, paying for that house. Uh, uh, and then I was like, you know what? It's clear that I'm going to be kicked out here. I'm going to be going back home. Uh, and I had my, my 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 cars. So I'm like, you know what? If I have to go back home, at least let me not sell my things because of there they are going to see the ah. Or what? So they said, no, 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 no. Let me just keep the cars and everything. You know, the market is the market. I blew my money, but the knowledge will stay with me. It's fine. Whatever that just happened, it's fine. Uh, let me take a breather. You know, just go and breathe in. Let me just take a break, two months, three months break from the market because I don't want to tell you how much I lost. It was traumatic. I don't want <laughs> Traumatic, traumatic, traumatic. Oh my goodness, it was traumatic. Um, hey! I started to learn that friends are problematic. You know, I blew the, market, the, the money in the market now. All of a sudden, when I call now, the friends, just to talk to my, my friends that time, how? Voicemail. Voicemail. Hey, man. Life is shocking. Eh? People, they can do this. So at a young age already, I learned how people, they can work when things are not going away. So I called this guy one time. I'm calling him, I'm on the phone. Krum, 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 krum. Then he answers the phone call, but he wants to make as if it's a voicemail. He clicks the button, like you know, uh, the, the keypad. When you click the keypad when the phone is on, it's going to be dee, dee. So, so he clicks the key, keypad. So I'm holding the phone, he clicks the keypad. He said, dee. I can hear. Someone says, uh, I'm currently unavailable right now, please call me back later. I say, hey man, I can hear you, man. You are there. Because how can I hear? He's breathing in. <laughs> and then I, I say, hey man, talk to me. And then he repeats the same message. Uh, please call me back later. <laughs> then I'm listening to him. I say, hey man, what are you doing? I can hear you, man. Talk to me. What's happening? He said, uh, please call me back later. 
<laughs> Say, ah, hey, life is good all the time. So, uh, so my journey was very interesting in Forex. Uh, and then these people, they, I don't know what they thought about the market. They think that the market, I don't know what they thought. Maybe after you blew, it's over. Unfortunately, I bounced back. And uh, the, the rest is history. When I bounced back, I bounced back in, in, in a very powerful way uh, because of I learned my mistakes. I understood that, okay, this can also have a hand in, in, why, uh, in how I was treating my mentor, in how I was so problematic, in how I was too trusting, in how so I was like, okay, I'm vulnerable uh, right now. Let me restructure my team uh, again because of now I had my own guys. At the same time as I'm talking to you, those things are happening in as if, you know, it's also weird. All the traders were having a similar experience. As I was going through my, my things, I don't know what was happening there in Devon there, but hey, those guys were also under fire. <laughs> ah, those guys were also going under fire because of him. As I was telling you, there was a guy called Prince Mazibuku. Prince Mazibuku. Uh, he had a partner. I don't know what they were doing. But the issue starts, you know, the, the traders, old traders, the biggest mistake that they did uh, and how many traders they started to disappear till today it's because of they were doing some things that were not fine 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 like investments and everything you see trading for people that thing never really ends well so they were having their own issue there referee also the other side so there was a time there was a time when it was almost almost dying almost dying because the people that the testimonials of trading the guys of the cars now were, were never were normal to be seen but I, I, I came back strong. I revived that thing. And when I came back now, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. When I came back to the forex field now, jo, 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 jo. I, I did something else now. 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, domination of the markets. Uh, cars, don't tell me about cars because of, uh, there's no car that you can tell me till today that I've never driven. Maybe the latest ones, I don't know. Uh, your Pentiger, Bentley Pentiger, maybe your Kalinen, Rolls Royce Kalinen. I've never driven those ones, but if anything else, uh, I drove those things. And then uh, uh, Forex, so you can see that Forex already uh, people right now, where it is right now, Forex, it's it's it has grown, it has grown, it has grown. Some people don't even uh, know that Ref Wayne was actually very instrumental in the upbringing of forex because there was a time when i could feel that i'm alone here the, the top guys are all quiet all dying i remember uh, i remember uh, uh, what is this the, the, uh, the cash flow was also going through a lot of i don't know what was happening there uh, cases and everything um the the, the brokers that were there were also dying yo 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 yeah, your ACM golds were, die, were dying. Even before that, there was CM trading still there, but they were dying. So, so the, 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 the industry was dying. But I can say I pumped money back to the industry. As I was withdrawing the money, I was pumping it back. Pumping it back to the industry. Pumping back the money to the industry. To give people hope again. To give people hope again. So, my students, so I started to come with new collectuals. Uh, showing people new collectual, new, new jargon, a new way of, of trading. So many, many, many methods that you, you can see today of trading. I'm the one who invented them. They were not there. They were always there, but I, I brought them here because of in America there was already guys that were doing it. I remember there was a group in America called the, uh, the Green Room Academy. I was part of that group. There were some things that they were teaching, strategies that they were teaching there, but they were not so, you know. I brought so many strategies to the side. Most of the things that you can see, uh, you know, your stochastics, your, 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 hey, your moving averages, your MACDs, uh, you know, uh, the price action, those strategies were not popular. I popularized them. So traders were not really using those strategies. So, so, so we had a new, just like this in martial arts, you know, in martial arts there's Kung Fu, there's Shaolin, there's Shotokan, there's, you know, uh, Bruce Lee came with his own path, so I also had my own, you know, um, uh, strategies that I, was, that I was pushing out. And what was happening, I was investing back to my, my, my students. So when I was teaching how to trade, I was investing back to my students. So as people were learning how to trade, I was giving back uh, the money to them so that they can also invest back in it. And, and invest in others as well. So guys, uh, I want to continue. I want to continue. I want to continue. But uh, 
Instagram says to me, man, you have to cut off time. So guys, we'll talk soon. There's more to talk. <laughs>